everybody, what's going on? Um, I just wanted to uh, start this video out by uh, kind of explaining what you're about to see. Um, as if you know, if you've read my channel description and everything, you know that I've got a uh, 2006 uh, LBZ Duramax. It's a 2500, so it's not a 3500, but it's a 2500. It's a mostly stock truck. Um, I am running a uh, five inch uh, Diamond Eye Performance exhaust. Uh, it's just straight pipe, nothing. I mean, no muffler, nothing like that. I do have a, a three inch MBRP downpipe in the back that I'm hopefully getting on today. But yeah, so uh, I've got a uh, stock air box. Um, I do have uh, tunes though, and that's kind of what I want to showcase in this video is the uh, the capability that you get when you when you tune your truck. Um, my tunes are uh, through uh, uh, DuramaxTuner.com, um, and if you've looked at any videos on Duramaxes. There's no way in hell that those guys have not come up. Um, and I can tell you, I've had this these tunes for uh, a month or two now. Not not too long, but long enough that I've driven the truck quite a few miles with them. I haven't had any issues with them. Um, they performed exactly like I wanted them to. Um, uh, the tunes for stock LBC Duramax, uh, at least that they provide, and, and PPEI provides pretty similar. Right now, ATP Idaho Rob is in some kind of issue with the EPA and can't tune so I don't know when they'll be back I was kind of hoping to get them but you know how life works um, but they have a they have the I have the DSP5 tuning so what that says that what that does is I've got a, uh, a stock tune it's an optimized stock file that's all it is uh, number two is going to be a heavy tow tune it's going to be a I think it's a, a 30 horsepower add um, and a uh, number three is going to be a light tow tune, so anything below 8,000 pounds is going to be the light tow, anything above 8,000 pounds is going to be the heavy tow. Uh, the light tow adds 60 horsepower, then you've got the sport economy that's 100 horsepower gain, and then the race tune that's 130. All of these tunes are transmission safe, so you don't have to worry about blowing your transmission up. Um, uh, the Allison is an amazing transmission, but it cannot hold much power beyond stock. Um, the big thing that I'm showcasing here, though, is the capability of uh, the tow tunes. And uh, I use the light tow. Um, if you can see in the picture in the thumbnail, or I'll throw it up here if I've got it. Um, the rig I was towing today is uh, is our 20 foot uh, fifth wheel trailer. Um, it is a it is a 16 foot flat deck with a four foot dovetail. Uh, it's a 10,000 pound trailer, so it's nothing nothing real special, but. Um, I, I had my girlfriend's uh, Mini Cooper S on there, and uh, trailer and car, the trailer should be around 2,000 pounds, the car is somewhere between 2,500 and 3,500 pounds, so probably about 3,000 pounds. So total, this truck was towing about 5,000 pounds, which is not a heavy load by any means. Um, 5,000 pounds is nothing on these trucks, it towed it like it wasn't even there. But what I wanted to show you was the capability of the exhaust brake feature. Now, um, on these trucks and the LOY trucks and then anything beyond the LBZ, the LMM and the LML, and even the L5P, um, they, are, they went to what they call a variable vane turbo. Um, I could go into detail about it, but if you've probably seen that before. Um, from the factory, the new LMLs and all have a, uh, they have a turbine brake built in, an engine brake feature built in, which is very nice. My dad has a 16 works like a dream will stop a trailer in a heartbeat um, but these trucks do not um, so what they do is in the tuning they actually close the veins of the turbo which creates back pressure and thus will slow you down it will uh, it will add a lot of brake without putting uh, any kind of wear and tear on your brake system um, and it works incredibly well and you can hear it when uh, when I start to slow down coming to like a turn or something the truck will downshift I did have it in tow haul mode um, so to get those shifts and all and you'll hear the you can hear the veins close and, and it, it kind of hisses I guess is a way to put it and it'll it, the truck will just immediately you can feel it just start just ramming itself back down and um, on a level surface it'll slow this truck down in a hurry on a, on a, on a steep da uh, downhill grade it'll keep it from accelerating too much more and uh, after today is the first day I've really had that I've driven any kind of weight behind this truck and it performs flawlessly. Um, I will say that the new trucks is a little better. It, it, it does better with the transmission and the, the shifting and everything. It does do a little better. 
and one day I hope to have transmission tunes on this truck so maybe that'll that again will help but um, as far as the stock truck and towing you can't beat it um, it, it, it it did amazing it was uh, it was a hot day today too it was about 94 degrees um, running 80 on the interstate with it empty with just a 2,000 pound trailer I did start to get a little warm I mean it, it didn't get hot it, it just hovered around that 210 degree mark and my transmission temperature was about the same so I mean it was it was warm I mean it was working hard but um, by no means was it you know overheating or anything like that so uh, if you need any tuning um, you know go talk to the guys at, at DuramaxTuner.com or CumminsTuner.com Calibrated Power Solutions they uh it's not sponsored by any means I wish it was but it's not so but I, I'm just kind of reporting on their product and what they've done for me and, and how it works on my truck my application um, in terms of towing at least uh, and like I said it can't it can't be beat so thank you for uh, for stopping in here uh, please like the video and subscribe um, and I'll get with you next time